Cruising World, Mick the Suit Guy with you. Today we're going to look at another port. We're on a run of looking at ports. I have lots to catch up on. I haven't even started on the Asian ones yet. i got loads coming up. But today, uh, I've already done one overall view of this port. But we're going to look at something else you can do if you go to Catalina. Now, Catalina, you're probably... Well, not only probably, you're definitely only going to go there on shorter cruises. Uh, Carnival goes there. Uh, Royal Caribbean goes there. Um, Carnival typically is going to be there on a Tuesday and Royal Caribbean on a Wednesday, just so you know. So you'll get a tender boat when you get off the ship. Um, interesting fact, they actually, the tenders come from LA across the water. It's only like a, you can actually see Catalina when you leave the port, which is quite funny because it's going to take a day for the ship to get there. It goes round in circles. But so the tender company comes over and they stay there for a couple of nights and then they go back after the Royal Caribbean ship comes in. They sleep overnight on the boat, the, the staff. Anyways, um, so I've got one of walking around the port and a little bit about the hiking that we always do when we go there. But today I'm gonna to show you something that's on the kind of on the other side of the port as you come in. It's walking distance, it's decent walk, but it's walking distance just past the casino, which is not a casino, but I'll show you it. You have what's called the Desconso Beach Club where you can have uh, cabanas and it's a little beach area. You know, it's a very nice place to go lay out. And right behind it, they have this really awesome zip line course if you were into zip lining. And there's a ladder, rope ladder thing there as well. So I'm gonna show you some video of both. Um, my recommendation would be for the Desconso Beach Club, feel fairly comfortable booking it in the summer months in advance, but be very careful in the winter months. Like if you're going, uh, and, and they're really only open on the weekends in the winter months. Uh, but if you're going to go there um, on um, in March, again, it's probably closed when the cruise ships are in anyway. But if it was open, you were going to go there in March. Be very aware because the weather is likely not to be that great. I lived in San Diego for 22 years. We're not too far from San Diego. I'm very aware of the weather at that time of year. So anyway, but in summer, I think you'll have a good bet. So take a look at this. This is Desconso Beach Club and right behind it, a zipline course. All right, so we're off of the tender from the cruise ship. We're walking into Catalina itself. Make note of that building on the far right. That is the casino. That is what we are walking around to and then taking a left before we get to the uh, beach club. So it's a decent walk, but you're going to walk through the main town center, which is very nice. Uh, I have, a, as I mentioned earlier, another full video just on a tour of the actual uh, shopping center area. So we're just going to show you brief like guidelines to, to give you some idea of where you are walking to get there. Again, we are heading to that casino. It's not a casino. They call it the casino, but it's not a full-fledged casino. So we're now into that main town area. Uh, you'll see the ship out there. And we're going to keep walking. So we're about halfway now. You'll see it over there. Now we're just past that casino. So you'll see the ship on the left there. And we're going to continue walking down this pathway until we get to the beach club, which is at the end right there. You'll see that little area where the white kind of stuff is. And we're going to take you on a tour of it right now. So here we are. The Desconso Beach Club. Now there's lots of rentals, kayaks and stuff like that. You can see this store right before you walk into there. You'll see again how close you are to the ship. And that is where you can do all your rentals from. Not sure if they're linked to the Desconso Beach Club or they're separate, but it is right there. Now here is a restaurant that you is definitely linked to there. Uh, it doesn't open till 11, so this is before 11, so it would not be open just yet. But it gets very busy once it does. So you've got all these seats down here. They will put the umbrellas up to keep you in shade if it is a sunny day. And here is the main bar on the right there. Right there. You can get drinks if you want to. There will be seats out there later on. But again, nothing is open just yet. There's your main bar. More tables. And now we're heading up to the actual beach club itself. Like I said, I probably wouldn't recommend reserving this in the cooler seasons. And they, they pretty much only open Friday through Sunday in the, in the winter months anyway. But uh, it, it'd be good to do in summer, I think, because you'll see it's going to turn out looks really nice. 
and they, uh, I'll show you some pricing in a little bit. But again, take the pricing for what it's worth because it can change all the time. Now, don't expect too much of a beach. You'll see it's very rocky, but you do have a very sandy area to sit in. These are all the cabanas and beach chairs and all that good stuff that you have. There's also a few up on the hill. So there we are looking back and there's that casino again. So it's pretty close. And once again, a, a little pan around to show you where the ship is. Nice clear waters. And they've got different size cabanas. We'll show you in one in a second. So we're going to walk back up to the main entrance area. So this is where you would come to check in for your cabana, just these buildings here on the right. There's a few shops up there on the left. If you kept walking up that pathway, you would hit the restrooms and then the zip line is not too far up there at all. So here we are looking into the main area. I'm going to pop in, show you a bit of a close up. Hopefully nobody kicks me out. Now there are different size cabanas. This is one of the more uh, quote unquote basic ones, I guess is the way of putting it. But this is what the cabanas will look like on the whole. There are some slightly larger ones and the ones up on the hill, uh, I didn't actually see them. I didn't get video, but there are apparently some up on the hill there, a little bit more expensive. But that just gives you an idea of what they look like. And again, restrooms are up basically pretty much behind here. They're, they're large too, there's big changing rooms. So there's a quick look inside the cabana. So if you want to book one of these cabanas, this is probably the best site to go to, the Catalina Island Company. It's actually visit catalinaisland.com and it will give you all the different things you can do on the island. We're going to check Desconso Beach Club. We're going to select cabanas and rentals. We can go by the month we're visiting and select the day. We're just going to select July the 16th here. Prices can vary very greatly depending on what time of the year you go. But we're going to take July the 16th here. And you're going to see on this particular day, um, open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., the prices range from $130 to $450 for the day, $130 for the chaise lounge pairs, um, chaise lounge pairs, try to say that fast, up to like $450 for the presidential cabanas. But uh, And rentals are available daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. In the winter, uh, when they're only open on the weekends, I believe it's 11 to 5, not 10 to 5. So just to show you a couple more uh, pictures of what you can do. So once you go in to select your cabana, this is a basically a list of all of them. The ones highlighted in blue are available. You can click over each one. You can pause this video if you want. The hillside cabanas, it shows you what you get and the price. Um, there are the um, beach cabanas. It shows you again what you get and the price and the, the chaise lounge ones and again you can just pause this if you want there's a presidential cabana show you what you get in each one and again the ones in blue are the ones that are available here is what you can order from the cabanas only you wouldn't have to go to the restaurant you can order these directly there's your bottle service drinks and then this is the main restaurant area with if you walked over and sat down and ate there so um you know and the drinks you can get there so this isn't linked to the cabanas this is for the restaurant we walked by and showed you and there is the uh, the rental place again that we had and uh, there's some pricing but again don't go by pricing it can change at any point whatsoever all right now like i said we're coming back out we're going to go up to the zip lines now there are some shops and if you keep walking up this pathway here you'll see restrooms on the left there we are looking back at the cabanas but just a short walk up behind these main trees here you're going to find the zip line course again you can go to that catalina island company to visit catalinaisland.com um, and look for the um, zip line adventures and uh, you can see the you can book it there, the prices and everything. Um, it's not for the faint of heart, as you're going to see in a second. There's some pretty intense zip lines on this particular one. They also have a, a little, you know, ropes course. But this is where you will come to check in. Um, California Discounts or Canyon Adventures. This is up, like I said, right behind the cabana area. And not a lot of people know about this. You'll see the old golf cart will come up here, the people that rent them. But most people don't even know this area is here, to be honest. And it's, uh, it's not that well advertised from what I've seen. We found it by mistake. But uh, here's some of the ropes course. Pretty daunting when we watch people. And in the back, you'll see people getting a briefing on what to do with the zip lines sitting down there. Here's a better look at the, uh, the ropes course.
And that's the ropes course right there. And then some of the zip lines. Oh, sorry, one more look at the ropes course, my bad. Right there. A lot of kids do this as well, as well as adults. So very kid friendly. There's a lot of stuff there to help you along the way. But uh, like I said, it's, it's not the easiest one I've ever seen, that's for sure. Now, some of the zip lines. Um, here comes one. I turned down the screaming. Everybody that went by was screaming. This is a, like I said, it's a pretty intense zip line from one place to another. So I figured I'd show you a few of the uh, zip lines in action, as they say. Where are they coming from, you ask yourself? What you're about to see, look up. Here we go. Let me put it this way. You will not see me doing this zip line. Here comes another one. People are crazy. Pretty high up. Yeah, so if you're looking for that more adventurous side of a trip, this is probably the place for you. Go on the website, it gives you all the details of how long you, to expect it to take. I think it was a couple of hours, but uh, yeah. Get ready to scream, because that's what a lot of these people did. And there's one of the golf carts. So, you, you know, if you rent the golf carts, you're like, you could drive up past there. You just got to know where to go. You have to go past that casino and around. And not a lot of people know you can actually do this area here. Um, looking up some of the pans. And every now and then you might find yourself a little bit of wildlife. So there you go. Quick look at the zip line and Desconso Beach Club in Catalina Island. All right, there you have it. That is Desconso Beach Club and the zip line uh, course area in Catalina Island. Uh, again, you're only going to go on that on cruises on the West Coast. Uh, I didn't say West Coast initially, but I meant to say West Coast uh, out of Long Beach usually on the Radiant, sometimes the Firenze now, um, and then on the weekday cruise. So they typically do like four day cruises, five days. So on a four day cruise, you're gonna be at Ensenada and Catalina. It's pretty much gonna go, um, leave the port, Catalina, Ensenada, Sea Day, back to port, is pretty much how they're gonna do that. So uh, another option for you, if you wanna do it, again, I'm gonna put a link in the comments to my other video I put out there, which shows you the golf carts, the main town area, and some ideas on maybe hiking and stuff there. So that's just covered a few different things you can do in Catalina. A beautiful little island, but not a great deal of things to do, um, but worth going to see. It looks very European from a distance, from the ship, and it is a tender port, so be aware of that. Um, by the way, somebody commented last week because I mentioned, and this is another one of the new suits I got from Timu, and it cost me $25 in total. And they say, $25, is that just the jacket? No, it is the jacket and the pants. So, yeah, it's $25 for the whole thing. Um, no tie, though. Wish there was a tie. Very good because it actually has pockets. They're not fake pockets, which you would expect on a cheap suit. Like... A lot of the cheap ones I, I tend to get every now and then from like Tipsy Elves and stuff like that. They often have fake pockets. I got one from um, Sam's Club, believe it or not, last year. Fake pockets. But no, this one, 25 bucks, including shipping. And it got here pretty quickly. Make sure you order one size up if you get one. Like I'm an XL. This is a double XL. So don't order your exact size. One size up. Anyways, we're getting away from the point, which is Catalina Island. Beautiful island to go visit. Um, I've been there way too many times to, to recommend going again, but we just go hiking. So it's a really nice hike set. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, I put one of these type videos out every Saturday, every Monday. I'll put a video out with some cruising tips uh, on Monday. And every Thursday, I will put out a cabin tour. So um, if you like the sound of that, subscribe, hit that little button. You'll get notifications when my videos come out. Uh, I do not do controversial videos. I don't do shock horror videos just to get viewers, which is why my channel is so small. But I try just to give facts and help to make your cruise better. That is it. End of story. But if you know anybody else that likes it, tell them. Have them subscribe. And I've got a Facebook page you can check out and all that good stuff. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. I will see you later, Cruising World. Any questions? Email me anytime.
cruisingsuitguy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site, elitetravelconnection.com or email me, mick at elitetravelconnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please. Pretty please. You know you want to. Go on. I won't beg you. Okay, I'm begging. Please. Subscribe! Thank you.